So basically what I've been doing the last couple of years is I've been working on mapping my own route that I crossed as an eight-year-old kid. That was the first wave of undocumented children that came over in 1984 and were escaping the Civil War in El Salvador. And they went from El Salvador to Honduras, Guatemala, all the way to Mexico with various coyotes being passed from person to person. I invited Guadalupe Maravilla to present this body of work titled Requiem for My Border Crossing because I was interested in the ways he maps the immigrant experience onto drawings from the 16th century. The origin, the source for the drawings is a book, a manuscript from the 16th century, and it told the history of the original groups from Mexico and Central America that migrated throughout that territory. So I was completely fascinated because I saw like these, these mountains, these rivers, these crossing routes, uh, footprints, and I was like, wow, like this is really fascinating because I, you know, this is kind of the same area that I crossed. I kind of took all the information out of the map, so it was just like the paper, and then I recollaged them and created these images. So on top of that, like I played this game Tripachuca, which is the line drawings that you see. And basically, this, this is a game that I actually used to play as a child, and I played this game a lot during the, my two-month journey from El Salvador to the U.S. Basically, it's a piece of paper, and you draw a pencil, and you play with another person, and you put pairs of numbers in that piece of paper, and then you take turns, you alternate, and basically the only rule is that the lines cannot touch, and it starts to form like this bond between two people. And to me, it was like, uh, they're like really kind of lines that create a uh, like form of mapping. And also like the lines actually become like the border, like this endless maze. He plays this game with people who have had a very similar experience to his own border crossing. So when we're sitting in the actual, you know, like the drawings are out, we start talking about how they cross. So it's like we're sharing information, we're sharing their experiences. And in a way for me, like that's a form of healing that happens because there's, sometimes it's like really hard to share these experiences. These beautiful drawings, in my interpretation of them and the reason why I wanted to bring Guadalupe into the show is because they tell this story that is worthy of, of being in, in books. This is an epic that must be told and it must be in every history books, not just in Central America, but also in the U.S. <laughs> 